Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're reacting to some more of my queen. My god, is my end-all, be-all, the one, the only, Miss Kelly Clarkson. Um, and she is back on The Voice, y'all. Um, she is doing a guest performance, and she's singing her Christmas song, Santa Can You Hear Me, originally a duet with Ariana Grande, um, which I reacted to them doing that. Um, live on her Christmas special last year and it was fantastic and I've watched so many other reactors just react to that over the last like couple weeks because I just had such a good performance oh god it's so damn good um, but she's here doing it all by her lonesome and we're gonna see how she holds down the song um, solely I'm very interested to see um, whether she's going to try and not necessarily emulate Ariana like what she did vocally but one of the things I liked about the collaboration between the two of them is, especially during the verses, Ariana took on a little bit more of a softer kind of demure style to her vocals where Kelly was just big brassy belty the entire time and then they came together at the choruses and they just had this beautiful just mm, deliciousness so I'm interested to see if like for the parts that Ariana normally sings during the verses if Kelly's going to like dial it back a little bit and you know be a little bit softer or if she's just going to be big belty all the way through either way it's going to be good doesn't matter plus she's got amazing background singers behind her she, she knows the she knows the value of a good background singer. It's a fantastic band. So we're going to dive in and just see how this goes. I know um, some of my voice reactions in the past have gotten blocked. Um, so if the video is blocked out for whatever reason while you're watching this reaction on YouTube, then that is what happened. It got blocked and I needed to mask it for whatever reason. If that's not the case, then yeah, yes. But we're just going to dive in. Come on, dress. Ooh, snowman. Hold on. I, I like that rundown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go back. Go back. Sorry. I'm, I'm bad at life. One more time. Come on, baby, belt it out. Mm. And got background singers taking the upper harmony. Mm, love that run. Transition from that full chest belt up into that beautiful head voice.
Big finish. Come on, baby. Yes, mama. She's so damn good. She's so damn good. But we know this. This is nothing new. This is not a surprise. Um, her vocals were fantastic. She did do kind of what I was expecting her to do, which was just keep it big, belty, pretty much all the way through. Like she toned it down a little bit she kept it a little bit softer some points during the verse but for the most part it's a very big belty energy kind of song so she kept it up there um for the majority of the time um i will say that i did miss ariana um not so much during the verses i mean ariana's verses are fantastic um kelly held down the verses fantastically too um but i missed ariana during the choruses yes we had the background singers who were taking the upper harmony that um, Ariana took, or they were taking the, because I know Kelly and Ariana would switch harmony lines um, throughout the song, um, but they are taking, you know, the parts that Ariana would take harmony-wise um, during the choruses, and it sounded fine, but whoever was singing the Ariana part almost sounded too much in the background, if that makes sense. And I think it's just because I've heard Kelly and Ariana do it so many times. I mean, A, just on the album, but then B, watching that performance from last year's Christmas special over and over and over and over again. Like, I've just heard them do it so many times that I'm accustomed to hearing that fullness on the chorus. So without Ariana's voice, or without someone else with Kelly um, a little bit more in the foreground harmonizing with Kelly, it felt just a slight, slightly bit empty in comparison it still sounded good because kelly's voice is amazing magically delicious um she can sing her own book um but like in comparison to hearing having that already in my head um having someone else sing the ariana harmony line but being so far in the background like it it sounded like versus it being like another soloist singing with kelly and them collaborating it just sounded like it was her a background singer and their job was to blend into the background not to like stand out and blend with kelly if that makes sense so that's the only thing i kind of missed ariana on in this particular performance just that that fullness of the two voices coming together and then you still have the amazing background vocals behind them just slaying um but yeah other than that and it's just me being picky because, again, I've listened to that performance a million times, so I just have it ingrained in my head at this point. But Kelly's vocals, amazing. Uh, and another place I miss Ariana on was um, going into the last course, um, the where they were kind of doing like the back and forth um, going up the scale. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> like all that back and forth riffing and run whatnot like i love that just sort of like back and forth that they were doing because it's like okay i'm gonna go here and like okay i'm gonna feed off your energy and i'm gonna go here okay you go in there well i'm gonna go here okay it was just this nice little back and forth that was happening that didn't happen here because it was just kelly singing by herself and she can't back and forth herself um so that was another area where i missed ariana's um contributions to the song um but like i said Kelly's vocals all the way through, fantastic. Um, she looked gorgeous. Love this gown. Love this gown. Um, love this setup that they have here for her. For her, because you know, she's a star and she deserves the setup. Um, the gown, God, gorgeous. Um, the straight hair, kind of reminiscent of her and Pink singing um, "Everybody Hurts" on the was it American Music Awards or Billboard Music Awards, one of those music awards years and years ago. Um, 
but reminiscent of that. Like she looked gorgeous. She sounded amazing. Um, band is fantastic. Background singers again did a fantastic job. I just missed Ariana in certain places where it just felt fuller and like more of a mm, just like a power punch. The two of those powerhouse voices together collaborating. Um, but yeah, fantastic, fantastic. I've got a couple other. I saw where she did a couple of her Christmas songs uh, for karaoke segments this week, so I'm going to react to those as well. Might as well kick off the Christmas season with the Queen, so. Um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications to be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments and I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to see more of my Kelly Clarkson reactions, you can check out my Kelly Clarkson reaction playlist. That link is down in the description. Um, if you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. Mwah.